The building opened on October 29th, 1928. This became one of the premier vaudeville houses across the country. Built as a memorial to B.F. Keith by his partner. The grandest one that he could make. The name Opera House didn't really come into play until the late 70s. It's a 2,600 seat venue. It lays out about 50-50, upstairs, downstairs, balcony versus orchestra. 50% of what we do is theatrical Broadway and 50% of what we do is Boston Ballet. The difficulties that we have found in the challenges was reinforcing the balcony. There was a particular show last season, Book of Mormon, that we had a lot of sound complaints. Even with the best blockbuster Broadway shows, they don't have the broad coverage we need to cover the width of this space. Most Broadway tours will bring in a tower left and right just in stereo, but then to assist in this area, they'll bring in a center cluster. Some of the shows only come in here for a week. So if you get a couple complaints in the first couple shows, it's already halfway over. Fast forward to about September, I went to see a colleague over at House of Blues, and uh, Tim McKenna says to me, he's my counterpart there, he says, hey Mike, you gotta hear this Bose room match system. I immediately discounted it, just because of name recognition. I had the particular brand speaker I wanted in this building. A big concern in our business is that if it doesn't have the name, it's not gonna fly. If it's not in a rider, if it doesn't even make the rider, then why would you put that into your building? So I brought about 30 local professionals to do a listening test. We went through the same listening process, all the same music, all the same questions, and in the end we compared both systems. For the room match, the intelligibility of the system, we were really quite in shock. The vocal clarity, based on what I was looking to solve, was absolutely impeccable. The main arrays, we have two five boxes on each side of the room match system. That is basically the overall cover and fill. And when you go from one area or one array or one speaker to the other, you can't hear where one ends and one starts. We decided that a couple of the room match utility speakers on the side for two smaller rows tight to the wall. The same speakers we used also for under the balcony speakers as well. Now we're able to cover probably 12 rows to the back of the house without any issue. We want them to think the sound is emanating from the stage. And we've accomplished that through the transparency of the room match system. So we opened on March 30th and we had no complaint attendance. And we had a good reception from their audio engineer. We had a good reception from their sound designer. A lot of people very impressed with the intelligibility of it. They liked how everything that we put together, how well it matched up together and how well it worked in sync. Our goal wasn't to discriminate based on ticket price, but to make sure that every patron had an opportunity to hear as if they were in the expensive seats.